stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere. Truly the greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. America is the number one greatest economy in the world, and black folks living in America are the 15th greatest economy in the world. Um, can't nothing but move up in category, can't nothing but uh, succeed, achieve. Your ancestors dug deep roots here. You know, 400 years of slavery, Reconstruction, and Jim Crow, uh, all types of prejudice, discrimination, racism, still we rise, still we, still we, uh, still we achieve. Civil rights knocked on the door, Martin Luther King Jr. and all the civil rights leaders and warriors who, you know, who are, who struggle to make things better for you here, voting rights, civil rights, all types of things, you know, to make America greater. And every athlete that comes to America uh, enjoys the, uh, civil, uh, the civil rights that, uh, that the black man brought in existence here. So today is going to be sermon number um, 45, and it's going to be based upon learners. So this is how it's going to go. Learners, right? Say, if someone were to give you a free puppy versus an $18,000 dog, your training determines the value. Because you can be given something expensive, and if you don't know what to do with it, then you just have it. Right? A learner will never be enslaved by the opinions of others. So don't let the opinions of others detract you from who you are and what you want to be or what you want to become. Learners will never, will never remain in the present season, which means that season is just time or year or space. You know, if, you, if you've done something in 2022, then you should be better in, in 2023. It shouldn't stay the same. It should improve. Um, learners will not be hostage to opinions or, or fears, uh, a memory, pain, or the past. You know, you don't want to be hostage to that. You want to move on from it. Uh, learn from it and move on from it, right? A learner will never live in fear. Yeah, don't live in fear. I mean, uh, fear is a, is a natural uh, reaction to certain things. But you don't want to live and let it consume your life of living in fear, right? A learner will outlive his past mistakes, which means that, that you're going to um, advance past your, your past mistakes. You're not going to keep walling in the mud, as they say. You're not going to keep uh, returning to the, like a dog returns to his vomit. You're going you're gonna to advance and keep moving on, right? Um, a regret reveals the discovery that you have just learned something. So regret is normally you've done something you wish you hadn't done, you wish, you wish you wouldn't have done it. Well, of course, hopefully you're not going to do it again. So it shows you're a learner. If you don't repeat the same folly again, you're a learner. You're moving on, right? Okay. Brilliance without a teachable spirit is stupid. So, you know, some people can't appear to be brilliant, bright, but if they want, don't want to listen. They want to do all the talking. Don't want to listen to anybody. Don't want to get any valuable information where they can succeed. More likely, they might as well be a stupid person. Okay, here we go. Learning is not a place of arrival, but a place of beginning. So, you know, um, learning should always be number one on the forefront. It shouldn't be put on, on the back burner. Always can learn something, always can improve and get better. Learning only matters if it's improvement. If you want improvement. If you don't want improvement, then, then learning doesn't matter to you. Learning the art of receiving will decide the, the future of your giving. Um, he that has, he that receives much, gives much. He, he, he that was forgiven much, forgives much or loves much. So, you know, that, 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 that kind of go hand in hand there. Right? Uh, passion to fly does not make you a pilot, but a learner does. You can learn how to fly, but this passion wanting to fly. You just have passion, want to fly. Never will be learn how to fly. Never learn how to be a pilot. So, another thing there. Um, uh, back to regrets again. Is delayed discovery. Is proof of flawed decision making. Is proof you have learned. Uh, qualified. The proof you have learned qualifies you to be a teacher. So a lot of times, if you go through a lot of adverse situations, and you learn from them, and you conquer those situations, then you can teach someone else how not to go through those situations, or teach somebody else who's in that particular problem how to get out of it. The man who keeps looking has still not learned. The price of change is simply the learning curve. Yeah. Again, back to learning, man. Yeah. You can look, look, people all you want to peep, but learning is, uh, is learning. You're going to master something, you're going to learn something, you're just going to keep repeating the same mistake over and over again, right? That's what that's about. 
Okay, what you learn today is revealed by the change you make tomorrow. Again, a wisdom. You know, what you learn today, you know, is a uh, is by your change tomorrow. So you, you know, always say disassociate with drugs. You know, drugs have taken down. It can take down any race of people. Black people got destroyed by drugs all through the all through the United States. Uh, heroin, uh, uh, cocaine, crack, uh, 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 all these kind of things. Love boat, you, you, you lacing something on marijuana. All these kind of things that people want to go into the delusional state of mind. It only puts you down further. It doesn't advance you to go to delusional state of mind or forget about reality. It only takes you down. It, it causes you to be addicted to that particular drug. Whatever problem you had before, you still have. So. You're learning. Your learning curve continues to, to slope, to slope down toward toward negative, because you're not improving yourself at all. You just, uh, you just again, again, you, you're just situating yourself to fail. You know, who wants to fail? If you fail, you're not a learner. You know, so uh, it just a, it could be a domino effect. Uh, you know, you start making mistake after mistake after mistake, and you know, dominoes all. You set them up and you push them, and it'll just uh, someone can see your end uh, from your beginning because you made you're doing the same uh, mistakes. Where you're going the same road that others have went before you, you know, and theirs ended up in destruction. It looks like yours is going the same way if you don't know, become a learner and, and avoid making those those crucial mistakes, or you don't know, learn from mistakes and then go another way and not make those same mistakes in the, in the future. Okay, so here we have. Okay, who are you refusing to learn from? Costly mistake. A lot of times, a person that can that you, that you learn from, you might not like that person. You might not enjoy what that person does. You not like might enjoy that not enjoy that person at all. But that person has just what you need to advance yourself. I'll give you an example. A lot a lot of people will uh, look at someone wealthy like these like these wealthy guys and say, Oh, look at them, they got the money. I would do thus and thus if I had that money. Well you should look at those individuals and say, What did they do to attain that money? So if I attain that money, then I can do what I think that I would like to do with the money, opposed to what they're doing. Well, don't criticize what they're doing with their money. Find how they made it, and then do what you want to do with some money when you make the money, right? So those are people you can learn from, but if you're criticizing someone and not learning from them, then you can't gain what they've gained, right? So another thing to, to, to look into when people, you know, tend to run their mouths about a lot of different things, right? Um, wherever you are struggling, you are untaught, right? definitely. Definitely, if you look at that, you know, I don't care if it's, 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 it's whether you're savvy with computers, whether you are a, a good um, driver, whether you are, you know, a good mate, uh, or whether you can't stay married, keep getting divorced, because you're struggling, because you're untaught. You can do something over and over again, but if you're never taught, and you're, try, you're not, you're not going to master the situation yet, you're going to accidentally fall into some things successfully, but usually you're going to fail. You're not going to fall into success. Yep, so, you know, that's learning. Uh, that's the um, the 45th uh, sermon. Um, and again, as we finish this sermon off, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be a wonderful sermon if I didn't tell you how to get to heaven. Um, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Repent of your sins. This is the, the free gift of heaven through by grace. God sent his only begotten son to die for the sins of the entire world to make it as easy as possible for men and women to go to heaven. Every every race, every every ethnic under the sun can go to heaven. And the Bible states itself that the people around the, the, the throne of God will be so numerous that you can't count them. You can't count them because it's a free gift. You don't have to work for it. Christ already died, rose again. Uh, died for the sins of the entire world. That's what he came for. He didn't come to conquer the, uh, the enemies of, of the Jewish nation. He came to save the souls of everybody who walked on this earth and, and walking today. So look, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repent of your sins. This is this is heaven. This is the free gift of heaven, and uh, and, and, and it's not a it's not a matter of you being ready for for God. It's a matter of you doing this because the sooner you do it, the sooner God uh, grabs you into His bosom, the sooner He starts leading you and guiding you in the ways of righteousness and how you should live. But this is the guaranteed way, the prerequisite way of getting to heaven. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and repent of your sins. It doesn't matter what you're doing. What lifestyle you're into? If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and He died and He rose again, repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Your name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And you're going to heaven when you pass away from this earth. When you go from physical to spiritual, you'll be in heaven. So look, at us, stay black in America. That'll be sermon number 45. 
learner. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Bye.